Hey there, hi, my name is Joe, and this here is AB Baby. Hi, AB Baby. We're traveling with season six, and your name is? John. John, John Willie. John Willie, nice to meet you. Nice Thanks to meet for coming you to talk to us. So here we are in the Pony the uh, Route 66 um, Hall of Fame Museum here uh -huh. in Pontiac. What can you tell us about the museum and about Pontiac? Well, the museum was established here in 2004, and it used to be in uh, the truck, Dixie Truck Stop in McLean. Mm -hmm. Moved it up here, the old fire station, and it's expanded since then. Obviously, we've got a lot more room they had in the truck stop. It's a museum and hall of fame. Every year, the Illinois Route 66 Association inducts new members to the Hall of Fame, and we place them in the museum by town. If you come in here, the first case is Chicago, where the route starts, and as you go around the room, it's like you're traveling south in Illinois toward Missouri. There'll be plaques in the cases, and there'll be memorabilia from their life, from their business, what have you. Uh, we have other kinds of memorabilia just related to Route 66 in general gas pumps and that sort of thing. The music of Bobby Troop over here. And this will be where we put our new members will be inducted in June. Um, they've each for a year will be in this case and then we'll place them by city where they belong. That's great. On the second floor, we have a couple of things. We have a display called Life in the 40s. It's a replica of an apartment from the 1940s. A living room, a dining room, a bedroom, a kitchen, kids' toys. It's like going back to mom, grandma, or great grandma's house. <laughs> there are five rooms of photographs, so about like that, like that. Uh, take How a much look. is the rent to stay there? Uh, uh, you don't want to stay there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the beds are, there's no mattress, it's just a box. Oh, <laughs> it's like my house. <laughs> The five rooms of photographs this size taken along Route 66 by Michael Campanelli from California to Santa Monica all the way to Chicago. So I always tell people you can make the trip in about 15 minutes, not leave the building, not get too hot or too cold or too wet, and still stay on schedule. <laughs> Two of them are in the old city jail cells because over there used to be the city hall, the police station, and the jail. So we, might, we use those couple of the rooms for the pictures, couple of the cells. Uh, there's also a replica of a, <clears throat> a bandstand from the, like a USO bandstand from the World War II era and a wall of newspaper headline, head newspapers from the Chicago area from World War II starting upper left-hand corners when Germany invaded Poland in 1939, lower right-hand corner when the Japanese signed the treaty on at the end of the war. On the third floor, we have the Livingston County War Museum. They have over 250 mannequins with uniforms that have been donated from the area, going back at least to World War I. Wow. Little tag, who served, where, when, medals, ribbons, and literally tons of other memorabilia. The other side of the gift shop, we have three displays. We have one room, with the wall dog display, the people that came in and did the murals. We have some of their work, some of their uh, tools, what have you, up in that room. Across the hall, we have a display dedicated to the, it's called the Waldmeyer Experience, Bob Waldmeyer, mm -hmm. the artist on Route 66. Uh, we have some of his work and some of the other things. And you have his Bob. VW bus over we there. We have his VW bus here, and we have his school bus out and back that and he lived in. Bus. And then um, the third room is a display put together by the same people that did the life in the 40s. It's music of the Civil War. They have some memorabilia from back in the 1865. You remember that music, don't you, Amy? And there's some uh, sheet music that he's collected from the era from related to and from the time of the Civil War. Wow. So keeps people so busy. So it's going to take you a while to get through the... Uh, if you're really serious about looking at things, yes, yeah. yes. That's great. And what else do we have to look forward to in Pontiac and through the rest of our travels? Downtown, you have the old courthouse, mm -hmm. which was there. renovated a few years ago, and it's beautiful, Great. the renovation of it. Across the street from that, there is the Pontiac Oakland Automobile Museum, mm -hmm. and Tim and Penny Dye do a fantastic job with that uh, car museum. They are constantly changing the displays, uh, Cars are nicely shown. Uh, sometimes you can go to a car, car museum and it looks like a 
indoor parking lot. Yes. This one's not there set up really nice, very right. nice. And next to that is the Gilders Museum. You know what a Gilder is? Uh, someone that works with uh, gold and metal. Yeah, gold leaf, yes. And how they, it's a small shop place, but it- I've been accused got, of gilding the lily several times <laughs> in my life. And there's a, in the back is a replica of a Gilder's shop. There's a hammer that you can try to lift up that they used. They, they must have looked like Popeye when they got sure. finished because those things really heavy. Um, they're around town. There are the murals that the Waldogs painted and right, some have been some added of since then. Behind the back wall of the museum is the largest Route 66 mural along the oh, route. We got that picture first, don't <laughs> okay. kid yourself. I'm sure you did, but that's, but they're up through that alleyway and around town there are many 20 some murals. So, uh, Great, we're gonna check all those okay. out. Wow, that museum's enormous. It isn't really, really phenomenal. Did you enjoy that, A.B.? Everybody's got to come here. Pontiac Route 66 History Museum Hall of Fame. Just incredible.